Hi everyone, happy Thanksgiving. My name is Heidi Smith. It's Thanksgiving for us today in Antarctica. It's Saturday. Uh, we celebrate Thanksgiving on a Saturday because it's a nice day that everyone can have off from work. So there's no one working and we can all eat together later tonight. Um, I am currently living in Bozeman, Montana. I grew up in Vermont with my family, my mom Nancy and my father Michael. Um, and I have two brothers. One is Eric. He's a sophomore at Montana State, so I get to play with him out in Montana. And Jeffrey, who's a sophomore in high school. So hi guys, and I hope everything's going well. In Bozeman, uh, I live there with my boyfriend, Aaron. It's a really great place to live and to go to school. So hi to everyone. Um, so we ju I have one dog. Uh, they, she lives with my parents. We just got her in July, so she's a puppy, golden retriever puppy. Her name's Lily. She's super fun to be around and really entertaining and really energetic as puppies always are. I'm a grantee here in Antarctica. I work with Christine Foreman. This was my first year. I'm working on my master's project currently, and I will be looking at um, the microbial influence um, down here. And currently, we're just going to be looking at you know, pretty much who's there, trying to figure out what microbes live on the cotton glacier. So that's going to be just basically uh, my job this season, as well as looking at productivity and all kinds of stuff like that. This is my first season down in Antarctica. I've really liked it so far, um, and I will be coming again down again next year. This season, I'll be here for about two months. Uh, our PIs are going to head home around Christmas time, and then we're going to be here doing lab work for the remainder um, of our season. So we'll have about two weeks in the field and then some good time in the lab. Um, my most anticipated event, I think correlates and corresponds with everyone's, is to go out to the field site and see what the cotton glacier actually looks like. I've seen a lot of pictures and I'm really excited because I haven't been out there and to develop my own project and pretty much just be out there because I think that's why we're all into science, to be out in the field and collect the samples. I mean, we all like the lab work, but being out in the field definitely adds to it. Hey again, you guys. Um, as Heidi said, happy Antarctica Thanksgiving. Um, all the rest of you got to celebrate a few days ago, but because we want people to have a two-day vacation down here, we're not celebrating until today. So um, later on today, Heidi and I, along with the rest of our team, are heading to the galley to help volunteer to serve folks their Thanksgiving meals, and then we have a huge feast ourselves. Um, so it's quite exciting down here. It's a big day in Antarctica. Jacob would like to know, does Antarctica feel like a winter wonderland or an icy prison? Well, thankfully I really like cold weather, so to me it feels like a winter wonderland, minus the wind. If we could cut down on the wind, then it would be great, but I don't think it's an icy prison. <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> um, Madeline was very, she has tons of questions. For you guys. So I have four of Madeline's questions here with me right now. Her first one is, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is turquoise. I think I really like turquoise because I grew up diving and it reminds me of the Caribbean Ocean. It's so beautiful. You can see so far and it just really reminds me of a nice place we used to go as a family. Heidi has been, she's been wearing these beautiful turquoise earrings the whole time. I'm very <laughs> jealous. So it's nice to know it's your favorite color. Madeline's next question is the one that we all love. <laughs> How old are you? Well, currently I'm 22, and I say that because in about two weeks, my birthday is December 15th, I'll be turning 23. I'm a little bummed that I won't be home to get to celebrate it, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll have a fun party down here. Um, it's kind of close to Christmas, and that's always, you know, been a little hard because people like to combine my presents. So, you know, other people with December birthdays understand where I'm coming from with that one. But I'm excited to have my first birthday in Antarctica this year. So, family, friends, if you want to send cards, <laughs> presents, do it soon. So she, she has more than just Christmas gifts waiting for her. <laughs> nice. Madeline's got two more for you. One you already sort of answered is, do you have any pets? Yep. My family has um, a puppy named Lily, as I already mentioned, and she's about four months old now, so she's really, really hyper. <laughs> and she's staying with your parents? Yep. Okay. And her last one is, what is your favorite animal? Oh, there's so many animals. I have to say that my favorite animal is a spotted drum, and this is a fish that lives in the Caribbean. They're uh, black and
and white stripes, and they have these huge, beautiful plumes that come off them. They're really rare to see because they like to hide in the rocks. So, so are they deep down fish, or are they? They're moderate. Okay. They live in the coral reef. I like the name. It's <laughs> wonderful. Um, Matt has one. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, this one's for my mom. I think it's just because I grew up watching it all the time. I'm going to say it's White Christmas. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. But it takes place in Vermont, which is where I grew up, and it's just this nice Christmas story. So if you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. Did you bring it down with you? I didn't, but I'm sure we can get it. Sure we can. <laughs> oh, boy. I love Christmas. Anna wants to know, where is the craziest place you've been besides Antarctica? Well... I've been to quite a few places. I'm going to have to say that my favorite place that I've been um, is to Argentina. I, and it was crazy because I went down there in our summer, and since it's in the other hemisphere, um, I was skiing there. So I did a ski trip down there when it was our summer. People thought I was a little crazy leaving the warm weather to go skiing. <laughs> but I say that's the craziest place I've ever been. Weren't you out like backcountry mm -hmm. and huts and everything? That's yeah, amazing. we were going between the huts and the Andes. It was really fun. Wonderful. Um, Anna also wants to know, what are you studying? And you already talked about that a little bit, but mm -hmm. if you want to give a little more of an idea. Sure. Um, so I graduated with my first degree in soil science, and now I'm pursuing my master's um, in microbial ecology. So I'm, going, I'm pretty much focusing on microbiology. Okay. So the bacteria. The bacteria, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this, for this one especially, the bacteria that we find in the streams up on the Cotton Glacier. And we'll also be looking um, at the bacteria that are traveling around in the wind and also from sediment. So we're going to be comparing to see if they're the same in those three different areas. Well, do you expect to see a difference? You know, they haven't so far, but it would be really great if we did. Yep. So I, I don't really know. No one's ever really looked at it. Yeah. So it's so. exciting. It's new science down here as well, which is fascinating. Um, Jared would like to know what's your favorite pizza. My favorite pizza, the good old Vermonter in me, is, <laughs> is going to be, um, has an olive oil sauce with sharp white cheddar, um, Macintosh apples, and onions. For the Pacific Northwest, we don't, we haven't even heard of that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we do smoked salmon and a white sauce. <laughs> that sounds delicious, too. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Last question for you today is from Grace, and Grace wants to know, who's your favorite actor or actress? Well, I'm going to have to say Daniel Craig. He's the new James Bond, and it's, he's pretty much just really nice to look at. I find him very attractive. So I'm going to be honest here. It's out of the box. I agree. <laughs> Hi, Daniel Craig. <laughs> Follow us. Yes, please. <laughs> well, Heidi, thank you again for joining me for this quick interview. Um, if you want to say any final parting words to anybody. Yeah, if you have any questions that you come up with over the course of us being down here, please email in and let us know. I'd be more than happy to 